the program will come to Japan uh, 100 times. And first, <coughs> the meeting from uh, the uh, director from the uh, Japan Handball Association, Mr. Kuyama. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Japan. Well, before I start to greet, I could like to introduce the lecturers from IHM. Uh, Mr. Francis Kowalski, Executive Member of IHS Department. <laughs> and also Mr. Dietrich Schmidt, Chairman of CCM IHM. <laughs> well, as we know, uh, they are uh, both experienced. And I as, I, as a coach, I have experience to take a lecture in IHS Shikoju from this gentleman. And I was so impressed from that. So we must be very happy this time. Well, uh, dear handball friends, on behalf of Japan Handball Association, we are very, very glad to extend warm welcome to every one of you. As we can see each other, this opportunity is so meaningful for all of us to develop our coaching skills and also to develop our relationship. As we know, Two big events will be held in Japan in these three years, which are World Championship in Kumamoto 2019, and also Olympic Games, of course, in Tokyo 2020. So we are so happy to have this opportunity, which is so meaningful to develop a lot of our combo. You know, one week start is a little bit tough. Yeah. Uh, but please enjoy the time in Japan. And if you need any help, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm Hajime Fujimoto. Uh, I'm chief of the CCM, the Handball, Japan Handball Association. Now I want to inform the little bit about uh, this center. This center, training center, is for top-level athletes and staffs in Japanese uh, National Federation. So, uh, uh, if you want to uh, access to the, uh, we can only access to the handball hall and the dining room and this meeting area. Okay. So, and no photo and no movies in, the, in this training center. So, uh, let's start. Uh, Mr. Kabuski. <coughs> uh, I think uh, that will be possible to speak in this way. Yes. Everybody can help us. Yeah. Uh, we are very thankful for Japanese Zenbo Federation and for people around that uh, they was given us this possibility to be here. It was not easy to find organizer, and it was not easy to bring all you all together here. You know that uh, we have to start already last year, but from different reasons we have to postpone this course. But finally you are here. We are very happy for it. And on behalf of International Herbal Federation, I hope that this cooperation in the next six days will be useful for both sides, for you and also for the develop of handball worldwide. Uh, I think uh, that we can go direct in media stress. We can start with our program. I would like uh, to <coughs> show you what uh, we prepared. But firstly, we will start with the <coughs> participants. Uh, from Australia, I will do it a little bit bigger.
Is uh, Mr. Jelicic? Yep. You are only one from Australia? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if there will be some problem with uh, my uh, English, yeah. please help me. No problem. Yeah. But I'm Croatian, so I can't help. Yeah, <laughs> These guys from New Zealand are better. Yeah. <laughs> They're the experts. So uh, from former Yugoslavia, yeah? Yeah. But I wasn't living in Yugoslavia, I was just poor man. The poor okay. page there. Uh, from Bangladesh, Thank Mr. Akhtar, <coughs> or Mrs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. From China, we have three participants. Please. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Indonesia, two participants. From Iran, also two. From Iraq, I think, yeah, they are here. Three people. From Jordania to from Japan, four people all together. Oh, you are in control. <laughs> you are great. Yeah, you have a good control <laughs> of the soil. From Korea, three participants. Such an honor for me here to participate in this. Thank you very much. From Lebanon, the street. Yes. From Malaysia, I think they have problem with visa. They was not coming. Correct? They have not time. Maledivi. New Zealand, you was coming directly from airport, yeah? Yes. <laughs> then we have one participants from Pakistan. Yes. Two from Filipini. And two from Vietnam. Also, we are nearly all what uh, this was on the list. Only Malaysia has some visa problem. No, I am not able to. These are demonstration teams. It was uh, prepared very well from the uh, organizer. I don't know if you can see it, but it is uh, for practical lesson. We have for nearly each practical lesson different demonstration team. It is very clever from the uh, Japanese Federation because they give uh, possibility to a lot of teams uh, to participate. And uh, also this demonstration team will be not tired uh, after two, three days. They will be with uh, full uh, over by each each lesson. Uh, this one you know, you receive it. This daily set of schedule. And uh, about topics, <coughs> uh, 
it is uh, it is draft. We will follow this draft, but we will be flexible also. It will be necessary because we would like uh, that will be not only some demonstration from us and from the team that that we will be cooperate together. That will be interactive. Because if you was looking before this list, you have a lot uh, of experience as uh, national coaches. You have also very good background in education. You are mostly educated as physical education teacher. And it will be sharing of experience also. Uh, this uh, course here, it is a uh, little bit continuation of uh, this idea Global Coaching Clinic. Maybe you heard about it and I think one or two persons already participate. Global Coaching Clinic is highest education in the International Herbal Federation. It was starting approximately six years ago. Firstly, for Arabic-speaking country and English-speaking country from Asia, but unfortunately, in this in this first edition, participate only country which was more from West Asia, not from Middle and East. We continue after this first edition with uh, Africa, then we continue with Pan America and it is edition number four, which was, uh, which is for Middle and East Asia plus Oceania, this biggest nation. From Oceania I was invited Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea, but uh, they did not send uh, application. Uh, it is first course. We have in the plan to continue with second course, but for this second course uh, will be some election, because uh, like in Africa, we make uh, some test until the end, by the end of this uh, course. And the people which uh, will be looking that uh, is also possible to continue as multiplicator, as lecture, uh, not only in your national federation, but also uh, in your region or in your continent, we would like uh, that these uh, people continue also in second course. Uh, if you are looking uh, this program, we have one uh, lecture more. It's Mr. Bulligan. <coughs> uh, maybe you heard uh, about this person. It was uh, top goalkeeper from Romania, later playing also in Spain, now is working as coach in Israel. He will come for two days and he will have also <coughs> one theoretical and three practical lesson with you. Uh, do you have some question, <coughs> remark for this uh, First information, uh, you receive this paper, please. Uh, fulfill it uh, during the day because we don't have by all of you all information. Also now we have the uh, same template and uh, during uh, this uh, day, give us back, please. Uh, before starting with the uh, first topic, maybe you would like to tell us also something. 
Yeah, uh, in addition to Frantishek, it's important that you know uh, that IHF uh, create a so-called uh, new IHF license, coaches license system last year. Uh, it was uh, now improved to uh, a little bit similar to, to the system to Europe. Uh, idea from IHF, IHF is, uh, let me say, at, at the end, two strategies uh, to, okay, to develop uh, the coaches' education worldwide, especially outside from Europe. As you know, the top uh, nations in Europe, uh, they all have, since long years, a good education system, but we miss this in other regions, especially outside from Europe. This is one idea. And the second, what Frantischek mentioned is, uh, second idea is, uh, we want to search for multipliers. Uh, it is for IHF not possible, I think we have now around about 30, 35 uh, IHF lectures, uh, good lectures, but it's impossible to send them to all uh, regions of the world. So we need multipliers, and that is a new strategy for the next years for us. Uh, that we educate uh, the multipliers, have a good contact. Uh, we have some strategies also for this, by internet, by uh, uh, special information channels. Uh, and the uh, idea is that this uh, multipliers goes in their region and uh, to go to establish also this education license system. It's for, for category, I will explain it later uh, in the course. The uh, uh, four categories starting from D going uh, to the top to A, uh, but I will introduce it later. Uh, this, this is the idea that you are able to go in your region and to establish also uh, with your uh, federation uh, this uh, IHF education system. I think that is a big step forward. We need this. Uh, I think the biggest gap uh, between European uh, countries and uh, countries from, from outside is at the end the coaches education system and the talent system. Mm -hmm. And that is also an idea for this course that we focus a little bit <coughs> to special contents uh, for, we call it, uh, in Europe, basic and advanced training. We, have, we all have the top nations, France, uh, Scandinavian countries, Germany, I'm coming from Germany. We have a very successful system since long years, uh, starting from the children, from the mini handball, going basic training, advanced training. And this strong system, I think, is a key why Europe is so successful. Not only <coughs> the competition, okay, the, the competition system, but the key is uh, 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 a strong system for youth and junior training, and we want to focus also a little bit to this content. Uh, that is also, I want to change a little bit the strategy. We can speak a lot about top handball, but at, the, at first you need a strong system for youth and junior tra uh, training. I know a little bit the system in, in China that is also uh, the biggest task in the next years to establish this system, especially for the men's, what I'm, I've heard now. <laughs> they change a little bit the system. Uh, so uh, <coughs> that is in your countries, that is the big task to do this. So, therefore, we will focus also on the practice a little bit to such that we introduce to you a little bit how we are doing this. Huh? Uh, when I'm explaining, okay, we start with basic training with this, then we're going to this, that you will get a feeling a little bit how we are thinking, how we are structure our content. Okay? okay. Yeah, that is very important and that our sort of official IHF strategy in the next years. <laughs> uh, that is very important what uh, Dietrich told uh, because uh, to come on to the top, it is a long process. Yeah. Uh, not uh, only for individual 10, 15 years, <coughs> but also for each generation. Okay, now we are starting uh, with what is handball. Uh, before I would like to...